up it's sourcing day i'm shipping items really early right now we did rearrange the racks a little bit randy and i condensed down the inventory and we decided to kind of shift some things around just to gain a little extra space in this office all right so that was like 30 items to pack up it took a little bit of time so we're gonna go down the elevator to the car we gotta turn the lights off and then we're gonna get some breakfast and then make sure the gas is filled up get some energy drinks and go to the trip As soon as I go to any thrift store, I look at the shoes, jeans, long sleeves, short sleeves. First item up is a pair of golf cleats. Now it's really important on these golf cleats to check to make sure that all the cleats are intact and not broken. Our next pickup was this Dixon long sleeve flannel. Now Dixon usually sells for really good money. Sometimes it sells for extremely good money. This one sells for okay money. Next find was a Western shirt by the brand Roper. Not much else to say for the shirt other than I'm proud to be an American. I'm gonna go through the rest of the short sleeve button shirts and then the polos and then I'm gonna show you like if I find anything great in those sections. Medical uh, guy that watches the channel, he said he liked the reseller news video so I'm gonna have to perfect that format and try to get moving through these stores definitely a good start with this store all right that was a pretty good first stop a little awkward on the exchange with the register so that woman <laughs> she was trying to bag all the stuff up right so i got a pretty good amount of clothes and she was kind of struggling with it right so as i was trying to like hold the bag open for her she goes you need to sign the signature pad and i was like oh okay and she goes do your job and i'll do mine and i was like what like do your job and I'll do mine? Like what kind of nonsense is that? I mean, if she wasn't struggling, I wouldn't have tried to help her. So uh, that got me a little thrown off just, just, a, just a little bit, but yeah, a pretty good stop. Let's look at the receipt. I didn't count how many items. I know I showed you all some of the better ones and it looks like we got 11 items for 63.23. So not bad. The shoes I got were 8.99. So that's kind of what brought that total up a little bit. They're right here, the Foot Joy contours. They're okay. The Foot Joy typically has like that two tone type white, uh, brown, black, blue, like different things like that. They, they sell for about like, I don't know, I'll list it like 40 bucks plus shipping maybe. But yeah, it's a little, little thrown off. What do you think? Down in the comments, let me know what you think about the um, do your job and I'll do mine kind of thing. So we're going to go to the next store, see if we can find some more stuff. Again, we take a look at the shoes and go ahead and pause the video. See if you find the profitable shoe. It's going to be these Danners. Danners is an excellent American-made boot company. These boots I have not come across, but they should easily sell for over 100 bucks. These aren't in perfect condition, but retail, they're brand new for over $200. So this will be a really nice sale. First rule of thrifting, never miss the opportunity of a new rack. I didn't find anything on those new racks, but I did come across this Armani Exchange jeans. Now this is a men's pair of jeans, and depending on the style of these, they can go for pretty good money. I usually always pick them up for under six bucks. When thrifting, be sure to check for flaws. <laughs> These are still a really good pickup. Armani Exchange. I'll have to fabric shave or have Randy fabric shave the knee there, but uh, it's a cool style. Definitely a pickup. The new rack didn't have anything. I ran over there for nothing, but the Danner boots, major find. So I'm going to try to rush through the rest of this. Okay. So here's one that I think I'm going to go with. This is a Hurley Phantom. Now it's got the Olympic stuff on here, which isn't like the most popular thing ever, but I like the black and the gray going on. It is $5. It's a Hurley Phantom. It's in good condition. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I did find some more here and I didn't have the volume on for the mic. So that was kind of annoying. I had it on mute, but I'm gonna go over these here. This is the Infibulator. I've never actually heard of this one. This is Volcom. When I see these long, oh, this is Reef. Oh, no wonder. Okay, no, no, it is Volcom. 
So it's a tag Vulcan, but it says reef right here. So, okay, it just says reef on the strings. Interesting, because I know reef is another brand as well. But anyway, this is really crazy looking. I think it's vintage. Um, if not, I mean, it's really cool. So for under $3, these mid-tier brands, I'm picking up. Here's another one, Billabong. It's the four-way stretch or the Air 4 light stretch or whatever it is. Um, three bucks here. Kind of baggy, but uh, no flaws. Very important not to pick up any flaws. And then I picked up this Oakley one, which I used to own this one actually, like some years back. And this is only three bucks. Go down the rest of the rack. I want to give a shout out to the best mom ever, which would be my wife. But it's also this mug that I want to shout out. I would buy it for two bucks, but honestly, she knows she's the best mom ever and she doesn't really need a mug because she has a bunch. I've bought her some in the past. And we're gonna go through the rest of these, see if we can find any more of those board shorts, you know, mid-tier to high-tier brands, and then um, see what else we can pick up. All right, I found a few more. Let's drop down here just to check them out. This is Cinch White Label. This is gonna be 10 bucks, pretty high for Cinch right now. Anytime I see 34 inseam, I'm gonna go for it. Now I'm gonna pay up for these. It's $19.99, which it's a Diesel Industries. Diesel is a really good brand. The quality is just there. So even at 20, I'm okay paying for this. But that's probably like the most I want to pay for diesel. I did find these Lululemons. They're nine bucks. There's a hole in the front, but these are size 32. So I currently have Lululemon shorts on. These are a bit longer inseam, which I'm happy about. And I'm going to wear those if they fit. If not, even with the small hole, I think it's still fine. And then I found all of these. These are Quicksilver Highlines, $2.50, $2.50, $1.50, and three bucks. They're all smaller sizes like um, I think two were 28s and then one, two of them were like 30s or maybe a 32. I'm okay with that. I mean, there's smaller dudes out there and for that low a price, I mean, those are gonna sell and make some money. We still got the tops to go through in this store, so I'm really excited to see what else I can find. I did find this cool vintage Ralph Lauren. Well, it's not like vintage, but it has that style. It's the rugby style. This is not the older tag, but nonetheless, this is a cool shirt. It's got a lot going on. It's a little small for a medium, but it is the slim fit and that's why it looks small. This one is James Pierce, size three, which I think is a large maybe, possibly extra large. That's a really good brand. I found a pair of jeans in that same brand too, paid up a little bit for it, but uh, yeah, ultimately these are gonna get the job done and we're gonna check out from here. Now, I don't pay taxes on these, but you have to have the form and I think I have like one form left and that's the form that I typically make copies with. So I may go make copies somewhere of that form, but for here, I don't know if I want to burn that last copy and then not be able to like print copies or make copies or just pay the taxes and don't worry about it. So we probably are at like maybe like 140 bucks, uh, possibly 150 at this store. I did find this, Tom Bahama, 100% silk. This is a green floral, real nice, pretty big size. It's like the camp shirt. You see that little loop there? The loop collar is always good. And then this is zero golf restrictions. I'm still pretty bullish on these, the sleeveless ones especially and it's a medium and it's got a little stone briar so if the logo is kind of like that golf related you know crest things like that it's going to be fun but let's keep going through the rest of the rack let's see what else we can find and this is real speed pretty much uh, i'm looking for certain brands and then if something you know might sell i need to like look at the size or the material just to make sure like this columbia pfg 2xl this is pretty good it's uh, fishing season. You want to look for stains on these though. So I always go like under the arms. And usually if it's not under the arms, there's probably not going to be any. So that's a good one for sure. Let's see. That looks like Robert Graham, but it's not. Vineyard Vines for, this would be four bucks for the solid polo. This one's kind of marginal too. Similar to the uh, Ralph Lauren in red put here is like a maybe but honestly if something's making like five bucks profit I can kind of just push it through my system and make the profit without much effort now see how this Under Armour is like slightly different than these solid ones and it's an XL like this this has potential to sell and then there's this here which is a nice stripe one and XL is like I said really not the best you want to go like two or three XL but those have a much higher chance of selling than these two, from my experience. There's another one here. There's this one here. I'll try to get in the light to see if there's any flaws or discoloring. Looks decent. Okay, this is actually where I started, even though I started filming over there. 
So what you do in this situation is like, you really have to determine, are these mid-tier items gonna be worth like picking up? Because honestly, it, it really could not be worth it, especially if, you know, you're not doing a lot of items at once. And, oh Lord. So, so you really have to like determine, do you want to do the work for like that little profit? And this is more of like the side of the business that I don't show a lot just because it's not that glamorous. These items aren't that great, but there is money to be made out here. And this is one of the ways you just kind of like push through. And who knows, maybe somebody would buy all the XLs. What if I bought all of them? You know, it's four a piece though. So it is a little high. At three, it'd almost be like a no brainer. But it's weird how $1 makes a little bit of a difference. Yeah, so that's kind of the thinking behind it. So sometimes I'll try, and you see here, see how that has like an issue? That automatically disqualifies it. So it needs to be like perfect condition if it's a marginal item. So I'm glad that I looked at it. And then the Vineyard Vines Edgar Town Polo, I'm really not sure the value on this at four. I do think in my head like maybe it'll sell for 19 ship. And at four bucks, like that's, you know, that's okay. So I think we're gonna go with these two. I don't know, probably get the rest too because Sometimes I, I don't find a lot of items. Like these are at least marginal to, you know, to sellable as, as opposed to not finding any items. So you'd rather have some money, some profit rather than getting like zero items, at least at my stage of this business. Like I kind of need to have work for Randy and um, that still is bringing in some money. It's right here, a pair of on clouds. Now I think they're five bucks is what that five dash means. Uh, they're a smaller size. We can tell if they're men or women's by the size here. So it looks like it's a 9.5 for US and a 7.5 for UK. So if it's two sizes different, it's going to be women's. If it's one size different, it's going to be men's. So these are women's, but on class for five. I mean, come on now. I'm going to look at the rest of them and see what we can find. Uh, these are like the dress shoes. And then I did see a cinch shirt over here. I was just about to actually skip this rack. And I saw this cinch shirt. This is an XL. Definitely been washed in a washing machine. Uh, not like dry clean. Sometimes they're dry clean, but this is a good pickup as a 2XL. The collar is kind of faded some. That's a good pickup though. I did go with the red one. I put back one of the Under Armors because it had like the same uh, issue with the logo being torn. But let's just check this out. I'm gonna start right here too. I try to like to find one that I can identify as like my starting marker. Usually it's like a random color. This is kind of a random color, and we'll just see what we can find here. Here's another cinch shirt. So you can see here how the collar's more stained. So this one I'm gonna pass on, but it's probably the same guy. He probably just wore this one more often. Maybe he wore the other one to church or something. Here's another one. So these are all donated by the same guy, and see how this one doesn't have it? He probably just didn't wear this orange one, or peach, whatever you wanna call it. I think it's orange. He probably just didn't wear it as much as the uh, blue one. Here's a Ralph Lauren Blake. This one's significantly faded though. If it's supposed to be red but looks pink, it's probably too faded. Now this Hurley, I'm really questioning getting this one because I don't sell a lot of it, but I know some people do. And here's a Blake one in green. I don't know. I think this is just a little too kind of faded for me. Well, maybe somebody else will pick it up. Okay, let's keep going. Here's a cinch with like the different style. I think that's like a more old school style. Uh, I like it though, mainly because it's black, even though it's faded, it's black. Oh, here's another cinch one. So we are going to check this one out and see. It's tough as the lights are so bad in this spot. Let's go over here. So since this is like greenish, it is stained. You see it's like darker, but it kind of blends with the shirt, which is Kind of weird to say, but it definitely does because it like darkened it. So it actually may pass. Let's see under the arms though. Yeah, that's just from deodorant. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with this one. Cinch is a work shirt anyway. Yeah, we're kind of capitalizing on all these cinch ones. And this one, because it's black, the deodorant makes like a, it makes like a crystallized look. So that's not great. I'm going to pass on that one, but that one's a thicker shirt too, which could be better. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Look at that. So that's definitely a great pickup. Maybe the best one here so far, 2XLT. And that's right where we started too. So I saw someone going through these t-shirts. I don't mess with t-shirts that much. So we're going to move on towards 
like this backside and then the pants and jeans. And then we'll zoom out of the store. So this was another good one. Seems like today's been a good day so far. So here are all the jeans and they only want five bucks for jeans and four bucks for pants. One little tip that I like to do, it doesn't work on this side, but if it's on like the other side where the back tabs are facing here, it's better to go backwards than to go forwards because you can see like here, you can't really see much, but if you're on this back side, you could see these tabs a lot easier to identify like what brand it is faster. So right off the rip though, here's some Peter Millar's. Looks like somebody passed on them because they are kind of beat up, but if there's no holes in it for four bucks, this is actually a decent pickup. Oh look, there's some Ralph Lawrence too. They were either put out just now, or like recently, or somebody just put them to the side because they didn't want them. Can't hold the camera and fix it, so I'm gonna have to put the camera down to fix it. Actually, I'll put it right here. Let's just fix it real quick. I hate doing it, because like, they need stronger hangers is what they need, but you gotta fix it. If you can stand it, you gotta fix it. But yeah, it's really hard to like shove these around to see what we're working with without knocking a bunch off. Levi's, I'm going for like 560s, 527s, vintage, um, some 501s. Let's go back here and double check. Here's some Levi's, 511s. Those might not be bad for 34 inseam, if they are truly 34 inseam, which, yeah, they definitely are. So those might be good. I think they're the slim ones. Okay, so the Pinot Millars right here did have this stain. That's probably why no one picked it up. So even at four bucks, the stain, no good. We're gonna go to the shorts here, see what we can find. And hopefully there's something good here. Let's see, this is Southern Tide. This actually looks pretty good. I don't know what they want for the shorts. That's the boys' sizes. Oh, they don't say. Southern Tide's not as good as Southern Marsh, but these are in really good shape. So we're gonna put these over here. Cause if it's four bucks, I think that's good enough for Southern Tide. These are older Ralph Lauren's, they're pleated. Pleated's not great for Chino shorts. It's not very stylish. These are golf shorts, but they look like cheaper brand. I mean, they write the size in red marker of these. Here's the Joy Chino shorts. So I need to find out the Chino short prices because these could be decent. Here's some Camo Cargo Goodfellows, dang. I'm real big on Camo Cargo shorts, but not Goodfellows, never. Uh, these are Nike Golf, these are pretty good condition. Make sure this snaps shut, yeah. Probably the same guy that had the uh, the other one here. We got Southern Tide Skipjack with the blue stripe. So that's a really good nautical type look too. I'm gonna go for these. I think they're four bucks, but I'm gonna ask. At five, I get a little not nervous, but just like it's not as enticing as four for some reason. Club room. Okay, now we're back to these. So not a bad uh, haul so far. And I might look at the kid's shoes for my son. Let's see if there's anything cool. I don't know what size shoe he is. These look sweet. He's got all the marble stuff. He's definitely not that big a shoe. He's got like short feet, but like fat feet. So he's kind of tough to shop for right now. In his little chunky state. Let's see. I also found a Peter Millar Summer Comfort over here in the kid section, and it was like a bigger kid size. So if you find like really high-end kid stuff, uh, like boys sizes, you know, they can sell for some decent money. But I don't really spend time looking through these, it's just kind of something you can maybe get into if you want. It'll be pretty obvious, like, if it's really nice in this section. Okay. I'm gonna find out the price for the shorts and then probably go check out, hit up the next store. So basically just looking for the better brands here. This page for nine bucks isn't bad. It's the federal one. So that's like okay, but it does say as is, meaning there's some type of flaw here. Could be this puck ring right here at the front. That's probably what they're pointing at. Honestly, that's not that big a deal because these kind of stretch out to fit. So these might be like a pretty good pickup. Still marginal, not like a great pickup, but at nine, it's still, I think it's still okay. 
Oh yeah, green's half off too. So here's Bonobos. So at 450, that might be fine. And let's see, what else we got here? 512. I don't even know which cut that one is. 17 is way too high. Most of these jeans are going to be too expensive. What else? What else? Here we go. I love them tactical. This is 3332. This actually may fit me. I think these are still good to pick up. This one's a little different too. It's more like the chino style, not the cargo. So I'm going to give it a shot. I think it's fine. All right, let's give the button ups a go. So with these, all these vineyard vines and like brands you would typically pick up for like three, four bucks, they're all going to be really expensive here. So we would look for like this performance one might be one, but it's still going to be 10 bucks. Yeah. So we don't want that. We're going to have to be real selective, but there's going to be something in this rack that I'm sure we can pick up. Move the cart down a ways. Just kind of go a little quicker. And then we also got to remember the greens are half off, so that could bring something. And I also have some confidence in the shorts and chino section in the store just because they have a huge selection. And there's definitely going to be some for like eight, nine bucks that are really good brands that people are probably not picking up. And hopefully we can find those. But so far, my left hand is getting a little tired and we're not finding much. But we're going to drive through the rush. Here's a Mizzen of Maine. I wonder what they priced it at. So yeah, four bucks. And I wonder if it's because it looks damaged. See how the thread's kind of loose there? So that is a bit of a problem. So I'm probably going to pass on that too, but it is a nice shirt though. Here's a roar. Yeah, so this is a good pickup. So we want to make sure all the buttons are there. Which it looks like they're all there. And it's got this crazy embroidery. So this is a excellent find for five bucks. All right, I'm going to run through the rest and let you guys know what else we find. This is a pretty awesome one. It's 13 bucks though, so don't really know if I should pick it up. Probably gonna pass. I did pick up a few more items though. I did find a business in Maine, seven bucks, really good condition, really good color too. I found this carbon to cobalt right next to it, 2XL as well. Both brands do really well for me. And then a little lower end brand, this is a Billabong, large, but this is a flannel, really comfortable feeling. And it had like a 30% sell through rate. And then I got this Brooks Brothers large. So if this is the casual sizing large and it's in really good condition, this one is $3.99. So four bucks, I'm still picking those up just because it's a really nice shirt, it's a good brand. I still think there's some value there. All right, so I just came around the corner to the short sleeve shirts and I was gonna go all the way to the smalls first, but I noticed all these nice colorful patterns. I know that's Arizona right there, but I figured go with the big sizes just to see if we can find anything because I would hate to miss you know, the opportunity to find some really good shirts. But yeah, these are gonna be priced high. Okay, what a wash this was. All right, so it was nine items for 47 bucks. I did put the pair of jeans back, the page jeans, just because I saw like, not just the puckering, but there's like tiny little holes at the bottom and I wasn't really feeling that. So decided to put them back, no big deal. It is lunchtime though, so I'm thinking of getting some food. I usually like to eat something small because I have like a decently sized, you know, breakfast so that I don't have to sit and like burn too much time but right now i am feeling a little hungry so probably gonna go get some not panera bread but definitely get something i don't know if we're getting like a mcchicken i do have an apple in my cooler or whatever i carry like a little lunch cooler so it's got drinks and stuff like that but yeah definitely gonna refuel and then hit some more stores i don't know how long i'm gonna go today typically i like to be done and then drive back home because i do got to commute you know two hours to get here and be home for my wife and kid. But I did tell my wife, hey, I may need to source longer because I am shooting this video for you guys. And that means I'm typically like going slower throughout the store. I did go through the rest of the chino shorts. I found one pair of Pinot Malar Crown Sport. They're size 40 and they're like lavender striped. I picked those up and then I found a short sleeve polo on like the other side of the polo racks that I hadn't shown you guys. And then I went through the slack section and there was another reseller there and I didn't really find anything. But um, yeah, you know, we're still feeling good. You know, spirits are high. I have a couple options on like where I want to take the route from here just because, you know, there's no like half off days in town. So I kind of have free range and a bunch of stuff, but then also have to consider the route on the drive back to make sure that I don't like end up too far away from my home and uh, get stuck in traffic because like traffic is a real deal around here. So we jumped to the next store and I found a couple tops here that were in pretty good 
like price range and shape. Now this shirt here, I thought was a Wrangler brush popper. I don't know if it is for sure. I gotta do some more research, but regardless, this vintage style with these stripes is still gonna sell for good money. Going through the Chino section, I came across three of these VRST shorts. Now VRST has a similar, similar look to Lululemon. However, it's not quite as expensive, but it is good quality and they do sell decently well. All right, so I just left that store. I was a little bit of a side note, but this gentleman sitting here next to the thrift store, he yelled at me to get my attention to come over there when I walked in. I told him no and just continued walking. Homeless people are typically harmless, but you never really know their true intention, so you've got to be careful because they're usually around thrift stores. Questioning my existence after some of those racks, I did hit the Wrangler shirt. It's a pearl snap. Looks like a brush popper, but it doesn't feel the same stiffness as a brush popper. Typically, those brush poppers are going to feel like really water resistant and brush resistant it i paid 8.99 but it's a vintage one it does have the look though so those typically go for like 30 bucks anyway i did find the vrst i believe that's the brand they're all my size those shorts i paid five bucks a piece definitely going to give those a try they're pretty close to lululemon as far as like i think quality and stuff like that i have I struck out at one store. I went to a Salvation Army. It was terrible. I'm never going back there. It was one of the stores that I took off my route, and I'm not going back there. They did change the price structure, but it was just hot garbage. All right, so we're at the next store. Already started off with some good ones. We got this Burger King shirt. This is like one of the older ones. It's only $1.99, but I saw some pretty good comps on that. Then we got Try and Chew. This is John Varvatos, or Varvatos. Pretty decent there. I got some... Ralph Lauren chinos, which I found a lot of these today. And then I found this one, which I don't think it's gonna fit me, but it's the Made in USA vintage Ralph Lauren. Green is 75% off, so that's only 250 for this. It's super heavy, like thick cotton. And that's like, it's a good quality shirt. I kind of wish it would fit me because I do like the lime green for Ralph Lauren, but it's a large, so it's probably, probably gonna be too big, but we're just about to go down this rack, see what we can find. And then I'm probably gonna hook the mic up and then talk about it outside. So we'll, uh, we'll reconvene in a little bit. If you see this tag here, be sure to pick this up. All right, so I just found these. Really cool, it's pretty obvious just because this is like real shiny and stuff. This jet lag is a very expensive pair of cargo shorts, probably like 50 bucks. I've never found one that's beige like this. I found like a floral one and like, I've sold them without the buttons and things like that. This looks like there's no flaws. They're just like super chunky, big, thick cargo shorts but it should sell really well all right that wasn't too bad now i will say the burger king shirt was missing all the buttons except the top two buttons so that was a bit of a bummer it had a pretty strong sell through rate and it was selling for pretty good money but without any of the buttons i don't know if i was gonna go for it this is a pretty good store but i don't know i'm feeling good like we definitely have a lot of items now if you guys are used to seeing some of my older thrifting days, I used to go way into the night i would call it bell to bell it was 9 a.m to 8 p.m and then i would drive home I think it's such a nice day. Like, I think I'm gonna fly my drone around a little bit to get a shot of this store. And then I may just go home because I don't know, if I need to come source again, I can like, you know, come again later this week or maybe I could hit some of the local stores. There's three stores locally that I sometimes find stuff. So I may hit that. I don't know, let's just, let's just check it out. Like we got like a decent amount of stuff. We got like the little wagon in there. So it wasn't a total bust, you know, these days are getting a lot harder but the half off days are where I really try to like capitalize on getting a lot of items and staying a little later if I have to. But because the weather's so nice, I kind of just want to like get home and hang out with like my son and my wife. But yeah, it was a pretty successful day. Yeah, it was a good day. So I appreciate you guys coming. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. All right, I lied to you guys. So my friend told me that Plato's Closet was having a discount, like 75% off or something like that on certain items. And yeah, I see the sign. It's 70% off on certain items. So I'm gonna go check that out just because it was only like a mile away from where I just was. And let's hope there's something in here that we can flip for a profit. So there's not many clothes that are on sale, but there are some shoes here. And the first things I found were these Osiris's. These are the NYC 83's. And it looks like they have nearly 100% sell through. It's 30 bucks, 70% off. So if I do some quick math, that's gonna be like, less than 10 so we're definitely gonna pick these up i think selling shoes and like other items are a pretty good idea just because there can be a lot of money in them like these osiris's probably list them for like at least 50 bucks or more this tub was the only the only clearance shoes left so there are other players closets around it would have been really good to like know about this when the sale started this is like day two or th i think it's day three of the sale so i didn't film a proper outro but i hope you appreciate the shot of this bucky's and the logo on the top of the roof see you later bye